Do you ever wake up and think to yourself, wow, maybe 2016 isn't actually the start of the apocalypse? Oh no, Liz, we're in like season six of the apocalypse and I think Zika virus is really making Well anyway, that's how I felt today when I learned that I might not have to pick between Trump and Hillary in November. Or if our we, the internet Facebook commenters, are to be believed a fascist and a demon. It's you're not voting? Are you sitting down, Eric? Um, yeah. Get this. There are other parties. Third parties. Yeah, I know. Jill Stein is the Green Party candidate, and the uh -huh. Libertarian Party just nominated Gary Johnson. Oh, yeah. You know, at first I thought Gary Johnson was just a meme, and Jill Stein sounds like a brand of sheets, a very comfortable brand of sheets, yes. by the way, but it turns out that they're actually real people and two more voting options. Yeah, except Jill Stein makes Bernie look like Hillary. You know, people aren't ready for that, for, for Bernie to look like Hillary. We shouldn't judge. Okay, but what about Johnson? He's the two-time governor of New Mexico, he climbed Mount Everest, and he called Donald Trump a pussy. Donald Trump's a pussy. Okay, undeniably huge pluses. I, I just don't know about the Libertarian Party. The only Libertarian I ever met was my annoying college roommate, Trevor, who wouldn't shut up about Ayn Rand and ending the Fed. All I know is that libertarians are fiscally conservative and socially liberal, or as Gary Johnson puts it. This is another voice at the table. It's arguably combining the best of what it is to be a Democrat and the best of what it is to be a Republican. Okay, but they're a political party that hates the political system. You join up hoping for political change, but all they do is sit around complaining about how they can't pollute themselves by participating in government. Look, it's like if your vegan friends invite you for an all meat barbecue. Do you go? Hmm. No, you don't go. Seems like a trap. A humane trap, but a trap all the same. Exactly. Besides, voting for a third party candidate is wasting your vote. Here's the thing. In January, a Gallup poll revealed that only 29% of people identified as Democrats and 26% as Republicans. But a whopping 42% identified as independents. Compare that to the crazy low approval ratings of Trump and Hillary and Gary's assertion here. 50% of Americans right now are registering themselves as independent. Where's that, meaning new voters are registering themselves as independent. Where's that representation? Well, I happen to think it's libertarian. I happen to think most people in this country are libertarian. It's just that they don't know it. Or, as Jill Stein has said, I think it's really important for Bernie's principled supporters, you know, to stay the course. They don't have to get forced back into a campaign that they don't support. Maybe independents really have a shot. Okay, but you're assuming they can even get into the debate. Independents need to hit 15% to participate. I mean, that seems doable. I only hit 15% of my crowdfunding goal last year, but it was still enough to make my entire ska album. Granted, I could only afford one horn, but I'm really good at the trumpet, so. I thought you sounded like you had a lot of fun on that album. Thank you. Yeah. Independence used to only need 5% to debate, but in 2000, the Commission on Presidential Debates moved it up to its current 15%. It's also tough for independents to even get on state ballots. But there are more independents than Democrats or Republicans. Not to whine, but come on, it seems so unfair. How are you feeling? Apocalypsy. Welcome to my world, Liz. That is empty. There's nothing in there. Our third party candidates are last best hope or no hope at all. Tell us in the comments. And subscribe to our YouTube channel, We the Internet TV. We'll help you forget about that apocalypse waking up feeling. It'll be like it never even happened, people.